In the next few minutes, we're going to show you how to make an easy Christmas garland by using a work garland form and deco mesh. There are many options for using the garland. Since it's both lightweight and waterproof, you can place it on stair railings, around a door or entryway, on a fence or gate, or even over your fireplace mantle. For a banquet or party, try running the garland around the food on a buffet table or on a table edge. The garland can be great for decorating outdoor business signs as well. For supplies, you'll need a 9-foot work garland in red, a wide poly mesh roll in deluxe red, lime, and gold stripes, poly mesh ribbon in metallic gold, green lame fabric, and some green wire balls. Your first step is to open up the garland and stretch it between two chairs. Securing and tying it at both ends makes the garland much easier to create. Your next step is to open up each of the tinsel-covered wire ties. This also helps to make the project go quicker and much easier. Now you should bunch the wide poly mesh, folding as you gather. Place the bunched mesh in the first set of wire ties at one end of the work garland. Twist the ties firmly to secure the gathered mesh. Measure the amount of mesh to form into a puff by holding it to the second wire tie, and then bring it to the first tie to secure. This gives consistent puffs all the way down the garland. Pull and shape that puff out. Twist the wire ties to secure. Continue forming puffs down the garland without cutting the mesh, using about a 9 to 10 inch length of mesh for each puff. Once formed, mesh holds its shape so you won't have to reshape the mesh. Once you have finished, trim the mesh with about a foot left for the end. Now we are adding a green metallic lame fabric. Similar to the mesh, gather the fabric and place and secure it into the first set of wire ties. Continue the fabric down the entire garland without cutting, gathering and tying the lame fabric at each tinsel covered wire tie. Remember to pull out and fluff the fabric as you go. When you reach the end of the garland, trim the fabric. For our gold accent color, we're using a gold metallic ribbon. Form a bow and attach it to the first set of wire ties. A bow is formed by bunching a section of the mesh ribbon into one hand. Form a loop by pulling a length to that hand, bunching as you gather. Twist once and repeat. Place into a set of tinsel ties and twist firmly to secure the bow. Fluff the bows as you go. At each tie, form three, two, or one loops. Continue the mesh ribbon all the way down the garland without trimming. For a fuller look, leave some slack in the ribbon between each wire tie. Trim the end of the ribbon by folding it lengthwise and cutting at a downward diagonal. Our final step is to add the green wire balls. Thread a wire tie through a part of the wire ball and twist to secure. It helps to open up a section of the wire ball to thread the tinsel wire ties through. Place a ball on every few wire ties down the length of the garland. If you're using ornaments that can't be tied, use hot glue to attach them to the wire ties. Here we are decorating a Christmas tree with a finished garland. Simply start from the top and attach with the wired branches or craft wire. Form the garland into big curves down the tree. For more decorating tips and ideas, or to purchase the products shown here, visit us at MardiGrasOutlet.com.